you talk about your photographs, please just give us a bit of a breakdown of your, your three photographs. This was a um, backlit photo. I used the, uh, the softbox here and I did a silhouette. And I, you know, when we do silhouettes, we, we try to focus on you know and, and showing emotion and also showing uh, movement and direction. And I, that's what I'm trying to do in this one. This one, I uh, this one when I photographed a journey with this backdrop. Um, I use a um, Scott and Solid fractal filter. It's what I, I was joking called the, uh, the glass. Um, knuckles. Thank you. I have old man brain these days. I don't remember anything. The, 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 the glass knuckles, but um, I, I, I use that to create some kind of reflection on the side. I know it's not as bright as it's been, but. Um, yeah, I just wanted to create something really interesting and dreamy, and I hopefully I did that. And this was a pretty, this was like my stage shot, my standard beauty shot. Um, this kind of thing I do, like a bridal prep, uh, when the, the bride is done, her makeup done. Um, so I just, yeah, I just wanted to bring a little bit of that into, bring a little bit of that part of me here. And uh, I think it, it's pretty interesting. It was like. Yeah, I used directional lights, I did it from the side, the left side. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a nice, nice, cute, safe photo. Thank you. Make some noise for the incredible talent that is Kanaya. Give everybody straight out of the Amazing work, amazing. All right, Chloe, talk to us. Talk to us about your beautiful imagery. Let's see this first one. So I really wanted to photograph how hot she was during <laughs> um, But no, we just had the two ice lights on the side. Um, the one in the left is a little far back, but you know, it's a competition, so here we go. Um, and that other light, it's just so easy to pop in. Um, I feel like you could bring that anywhere and make portrait anywhere. So I like her looking off to the side. I just like a strong woman. So I like that she's peeking over at the camera and she looks like pretty cool. I use a lot of movement in my work, so all I had her do, if you didn't see it, is just whipping that right at my lens. I'm using a 35 millimeter, so I'm pretty in her face, and it really just has that feeling that, like it's coming right at you. So, this is my version of a safe shot. I always, always, always shoot couples. I always get my couples moving because it gets them out of their head. And it's always nice to give, she's a you know, professional model, she knows what she's doing. But when you don't have models, when you're just working with regular people, let's call them regular people, just having them move anything, give them something to do, just really kind of gets them into the process and less in, the, in their head. Okay, incredible energy, and no doubt that all that beautiful energy rubbed off there. Incredible work, Chloe. Thank you so much. Cliff Mountain, uh, let's have a look at your work, mate. Boom, there it is. So, uh, using what you have, uh, I saw those gobos on the wall a little bit earlier, and uh, with a shallow depth of field, I thought it would make an interesting pattern. Uh, color here. Uh, is, is used as composition as well, the juxtaposition between the daylight balance and the warmth of that purple gave me a nice little, uh, you know, a nice little juxtaposition of, like I said, composition. Uh, this is just as simple as it can possibly get. It's just one light, dark background, light coming from behind and to the left. Uh, you know, a nice expression from Journey. Uh, again, voila, it's really, really simple, anybody can do this. And um, just, uh, I actually, uh, my intent here, I got a little, uh, uh, I, I outsmarted myself when I, I meant to put the, uh, the tungsten head into the light, and instead I accidentally put the daylight balance head into the light. I wanted to give a little warmth in the background, but it worked out just fine. Uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, side light, uh, 
and coming from the front with Westcott Continuous and a little bit of uh, kind of harsh directional light coming straight from behind. Again, shallow depths of field since I like to shoot wide open. Uh, this is something we can do at every single wedding. Uh, if it's raining, if it's uh, one singular location, you can have uh, a couple of different lighting schemes to give you different looks. Thank you so much, Cliff. You're also as beautiful to watch your vintage look done right in front of us. And John Michael Cooper, let's have a look at your work there, mate. Let's have a look at this one. <laughs> Talk to us about your image, mate. Well, like I said, I was just doing a 80s throwback, but uh, it also reminds me of my favorite Bruce Lee quote, meaning empty your cup, um, which is if you like, cup is too full, you can't learn anything. So if you empty it, it's, it's kind of pretty cool. Then you can fill it up with Jerry. So, uh, um, you know, it's like, it's a simple Hollywood, Hollywood light, but I'm just using one light um, to, uh, to accomplish it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, um, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. You use a beautiful model and, uh, you know, 90% of the work is already done. You just need, like, throwing a camera at it. So I think fashion photography is really easy. Sorry, fashion photographers. <laughs> you know, I like dramatic stuff, and, and you know, this lighting technique allows me to control everything in a situation where I have no control of, um, timing-wise and everything. But I, I drive down the light, and this technique, you can like focus on the person. You can make a white background black. Um, just control everything. So everything I did was I didn't let no other light um, mess mess up mess with the, uh, the subject. So let's think about this kind of uh, this kind of technique. My call is John. So there you have it, guys. Very clearly, four different approaches, four incredible personalities, four photographers, amazing teachers. Nick on. Nikon photographers, everyone, please thank these incredible, talented photographers.